For sure, what you want to see, first of all, is what has changed in design space. And you can see already on the screen, look at how nice and big these pictures are. So you can see them much easier. So I'm going to take you in to see what it looks like. So as I've said in a couple of places, it doesn't look all that different until you start playing around with it. First of all, over here on the right hand side, you'll see that all of these panels are docked now. They're not floating around. I'm going to go and insert an image. Did you see how quickly that displayed? Okay, so I'm just going to go down here and I can scroll and it goes very fast. You can see this many images if you want to, but you can also increase the size so that it's easier to see what they are. You can see much more detail this way. But if you want to see more images, just click this button again. Um, another thing while we're here, look at over here. This is where you can look at your cartridges. They're displayed in alphabetical order. And they have some images beside them to give you an idea of what's in them. Okay, so let's say if I choose this image over here, it shows me everything that's in this cartridge, which is called All Sports. So I'm going to choose this image to put on my mat. See how quickly that came on the mat? You're going to see these handles are different now you can just grab this and drag to make it larger. You can click on here to rotate it, whatever way you like. You can unlock it over here and you can right click and ungroup. And then you can move your pieces around to do what you want with them. I'm going to undo that a couple of times and lock it again so that no changes can be made to the to the different parts of it. And I could just click here to delete the image. Adding text, that's how quickly it appears on your screen now. When you click edit, you can see all the text details. And now you can see all of your fonts and they scroll nicely. You can have your you can change your letter spacing, line spacing, size, rotate, position. You can mirror. You can center your text. You can right align, left align. You can distribute letters to layers and you can isolate the letters. You can change the size over here. You can display bold. You can choose italic. You didn't have that before. Uh, let's see, you can display all fonts, system fonts, Cricut fonts, single layer, or fonts with the writing style. So I'm going to delete this text. I'm going to upload an image. Let's see what I'm going to bring in. I'm going to bring in a vector upload. I'm going to browse. Notice how quickly everything's happening. It's much faster than it used to be. So I'm going to bring in, let's see, I'm going to bring in an animal. Um, let's bring in a black cat, SVG file. Click open. There it is, looks good, and I'm going to save that. And there's my cat. Insert it to my mat. The What's really changed in here, more than anything else, is the performance. I mean, things are happening quickly. You're not sitting and waiting for stuff. There's no lagging. You can now, if I were to add 12 of these and click Apply, look how quickly that happens now. And they're this size, uh, they're on separate mats because they won't all, f more than one won't fit on a mat. So. Let's go back and I'm going to make this smaller. I'm going to click go and I'm going to make this 12 and I'll apply. Look how fast that is. That's unbelievable. Let's go 30. Do you remember how long you used to have to wait for that? 
Okay, stuff like that is what you're going to see here. So I'm not going to cut those out. I'm just going to delete this. Okay, so back in images, I'm going to show you what the categories look like. You can find under brands. Um, this here was under different categories, occasions, holidays and stuff like that. You've got brands over here. For example, all the Disney images are here. And you can scroll through through those to find whatever you're looking for. You can undo that category. If I go back to all images, I can filter over here and I can choose backgrounds and textures, for example, and it's going to display only those. I'm going to reset that and under cartridges, I'm going to choose um, something that has the word teen in the name. So that's the paper dolls teen scene cartridge. And I click on it and it displays all the images for that. So I'm going to choose this one, put it on my screen. I'm going to make it a little bit larger and then over here you can see all of your layers. I'm going to show you the edit screen. This is where you can make changes to the size, rotate it or mirror. You can move the position as well and then sync. You can change your colors here as you were able to before. It just works much faster. Look at how fast that works. Canvas is different, so I'm going to show you that. I'm going to delete this image. Right now there's a blank canvas. So if I go into the set canvas area, they look quite different now. I'm going to choose this one, the KitchenAid mixer. And you can see it is more realistic to the size of a mixer that you would have and you can change the different models. You can color them. Mine is white, so it would stay like that. But let's say you had the bright red one. Is it this color? No, that's really pinky. Here's the red one. Yeah, it's not that color either, is it? It's somewhere between these two colors. And what else? Um, then you could add your text over here. I'm going to type in baking is fun and I'm going to come back over to my edit panel where I can choose my text and I'm going to choose another font. something a little bit more fun. And I want to make that a bit bigger. Just to give you an idea, I wanted to change the text again to something else. Oh, this is fun. Let's do Art Deco instead. But instead of that color, I want to make this white. So I'll go to my layers and I'm going to change this to white. And make it fit nicely there. Let's try another canvas. Let's do a director's or camping chairs. Now this is huge, so I'm going to go to my canvas and I'm going to change the size to custom. And I'm going to make that much smaller so I can see the back of the chair and I'll put my name on it. Go 
go back to edit to find my text. This time, and it's left it at the font that I had chosen the last time. So you don't have to go searching for it again if you're doing a project where you're using similar fonts. Let's use this one. Ashland's alphabet. But I want it bigger. And that's a boring color for this. So I'm going to go in there and change that to a red. And there. Okay, so let's go back and use a blank canvas. I'm going to go back and choose a blank canvas, which is right over here. Be sure to join me for my next video when I show you how I set up my Explore Air directly from my iPad without using a computer at all. Be sure to subscribe to my channel because I'm going to be having many more videos showing you exactly how to do everything in the new Design Space 2.